Hey everyone, welcome to video number four. This is 3.4 and today we're going to take a look at uh, objectives 3.3 and 3.4 kind of in an introductory method. So we're, let me just scroll down real quick. And we're going to look at the Lewis diagram. So the Lewis diagram is used to diagram or to show an atom's valence electrons. Okay, we've been talking about electrons a lot and we've been uh, looking at ions and what gives us a positive cation versus a negative anion, how to find that on the periodic table. So I'm just going to go ahead and number my table real quick. So we've got group one, group two, we skip the transition metals in the middle, ignore those, and then group three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All of that is going to come back and apply into the valence electron or into the Lewis diagrams. So if we're using Lewis diagrams to show the valence electrons of an atom, all we need to do is look at our group number. It'll tell us how many valence we have. So for example, our first element is sodium. Sodium is right here, highlighted on your screen, number 11. So our symbol is Na. Nitrogen is symbol number N, number seven, highlighted on your screen right now. And phosphorus is P, number 15, and that's also highlighted. So we've got three different atoms across the periodic table, and we're gonna show our valence electrons. And we use these using dots. Okay, so we just show dots around our uh, element symbol to show the, the, the valence electron. Sodium, again, highlighted on your screen, is in group number one, so that means I have one valence electron, and we just put a little dot right on top, and that's all it is. So if we're just showing dots for our valence, take a look at nitrogen. Nitrogen, highlighted right now, is in group number five, which means I've got five valence electrons around my nitrogen. And think back to your electron configuration, right? If we do not want, so let's say we're in the 2p subshell, or the orbital, we've got three spots. When we're filling in our electrons, these guys, they space out. These electrons do not want to be paired up. Lewis diagrams work the same way. We've got five electrons around this nitrogen. Remember, we can have up to eight for that octet rule. So we go one, two, three, four, and then we have one pair of electrons. So this nitrogen has got five valence again. One of them is in a pair. And now what you're gonna see is that a single electron around the nitrogen, you can see them highlighted right now. These are available for bonding. They're available for sharing or to overlap with another atom. So that's really, really important. And we're gonna come back to that in the next section. Now take a look at phosphorus. Phosphorus is right below nitrogen, also in group five. So even though it is in period three on the periodic table, it also has one, two, three, four, five valence electrons and those get drawn around the phosphorus. So phosphorus also has an opportunity to make three bonds with something else. It can either ionize and uh, grab three electrons or it can actually share its electrons to fill its valence shell. And we're gonna take a look at that when we talk about ionic and covalent bonding. But before we do that, you've got some critical thinking questions. These are posted next to the video over here on the right. And again, use the space down here to fill in your answers.